Hey you! Do you want to win a free bond? Uh, come on, Tolan, could you please for once follow the script? <clears throat> Do you want to win a free bond? Then the Trails Clue competition is the competition for you! Yeah! <clears throat> Are we rolling? Okay, in all seriousness, I am hosting a clue competition and you can win 5 bonds. How? Well, let me explain. I want you guys to get your spades, your teleport runes, and everything you need for clue scrolls out of your bank and do clues this week. When you eventually get lucky, I want you to take a screenshot of the best clue you got this week and send it my way. But there's a twist, because I want to see hashtag bond money in your chat, so I can verify that you actually got it this week. So for example, I do an easy clue, I get an incredible clue, I type hashtag bond money in the chat after I opened it, I take a screenshot. Now you can send this screenshot to me in two different ways. In the description of this video, there's a Google form. There I have divided the competition into four brackets. Beginner, easy, medium and hard clues. You can enter in all of these as much as you like. So if you have crazy RNG, you might as well win all four bonds. By the way, as you can see, elite and monster clues are not accepted in this competition. So you have your screenshot with hashtag bond money in the chat. Make sure there's also your in-game name on there and just upload it in one of these four divisions. That way I'll get it on my Google Drive and I can check him out. Second way to send in your picture is on my Discord. I've made a channel called Competitions and Events and you can also find these four divisions right there. Just upload your clue in the right section. The best clue out of every single section will get a bond. But I'm giving away five bonds, so what happens to the last one? Well, it's kind of a participation prize, because I'm going to roll that one bond randomly between everyone who entered. So everyone still has a chance. The competition ends next Wednesday, the day I upload my next video. So the moment the link in the description is gone, the competition is over. I wish you all the best RNG, and may the luckiest clue hunter win. Enjoy the episode. Hi, I'm Only Trails, and welcome to season two. Yeah! I've decided to make an account that can only train skills or do quests when it's required for a clue scroll. My goal is to get every unique reward from every tier of clue scroll. And later in the endgame, I want all the stats and all the items so I can complete every single monster clue. Currently, I'm on elites. When I've done 50, I'll move on to monsters and get into the end game. I might be a dumbass sometimes, but you'll learn to love it. Enough rambling, let's do some clues. Do you remember these crazy guys? Yeah, I'm still doing Dagonauts for the circle. And this is my team. Pale Sith. Only Trails. And Charles Live. Wait, wait, Pale, come Whoa, back, come back. Pale Pale. <clears throat> Three, <clears throat> two, one. Yeah. Yeah, yeah let's do yeah. this. Come on, motherfuckers. Yeah, let's go. <clears throat> Falecito. Come on, fuck! Oh! Firefox? That's a drop phrase. Yeah, boom. What the fuck? There she boy. Yes! Get me the fuck out of here! Oh my god, after a week of killing the Dagonauts, we're finally here, top of the Slayer Tower, the Circle, and the Night is Not on my face. Completed the clue. Next step of the Elite Clue, I think it is step number two. Yep, that's what I was thinking. No, it's step number three, actually. Whatever. North of Elf Camp, we can absolutely do that. Well, another small grind here. We have to go back to Shades of Morton for the Split Bark Body. And we also have to go back to the Trolls for a Granite Shield, because I don't have that either. Uh, we have the Rune Heraldic Helm, luckily. But this is another small grind, but not one I'm really looking forward to, I'm gonna be honest. While completing this elite clue, I just completed a hard clue because I just got that one from the Dagonauts, if you remember. So let's just open this one for good luck. Not, not that much good luck, but um, I'll see you guys with the elite casket, I guess. Hopefully we're getting more lucky on the granite shield drops. Alright, first half an hour of getting these keys, first run. Please be gentle, give me a first cloth. A first cloth? A fine cloth? 
on the first run. That'll be absolutely beautiful. Doesn't look like I'm gonna get any fine cloth. Nope. Alright, here we are again. I'm starting to hate this minigame, to be honest. <laughs> How are you gonna sit there and tell me fine cloth is one out of eight when I've gotten so much stuff? That is way over that drop rate and no fine cloth. <laughs> All right, I'm starting to get triggered. Run number three. I'm not happy, boys. I'm not a happy bunny. Oh my god! All right, I'm taking a little break from these Shades of Morton chests because I'm triggered and I want to kill some shit. So that's why we're here at Night Is Not going to kill a couple trolls for that granite shield. The second part of the clue scroll. I just want to say that I've been here for two hours already. I have killed over 220 trolls. This is after the update. Before the update, I killed another 100. So I am now over double drop rate at least. I didn't get any in any of my Slayer tasks, which also means that I am probably around 600 kills dry of a granite shield. What is happening? Do these guys still drop a dra granite shield or am I actually hallucinating right now? All right, I didn't record it, but I just got a rune warhammer. That is one out of 272, probably way more, but that's one of the two rares. The granite shield or the... <laughs> I just got a long bone. Oh, I sure hope you guys can hear the anger in my voice right now. I just got a long bone, which is a one out of 400 drop. It's correct, though, because I've killed about 400 of these trolls. No granite shield yet, though. Boys, we actually did it. God. Damn it, you have no idea. Okay, look at this. 523 trolls. <sighs> Do you see this? Two rune warhammers, three long bones. We finally got it. Okay, enough rambling. Let's go back to Shades of Morton. Got one steel key, it's not gonna give me anything. Wait, no, oh, it's the red, it's a crimson one. Okay. Okay, that's trash. Drop that. One piece of fine cloth. You know you've been doing Shades of Morton for too long. If you get a fire making level, I have trained over 25,000 fire making XP here. All right, kind of coming back on my anger here. I gotten two out of five keys, so not too bad. Uh, we're halfway there. All right. Oh, I wish you guys could have heard my genuine reaction, but I was on Discord with a friend. But finally, we got it. Four out of four fine cloth. Spent the whole day on getting the granite shield and four pieces of fine cloth. All right, big boy. Here we go again. Give me that split bark body, and then I never want to see you again. All right, thank you very much. Let's complete this clue. <laughs> oh my god, I've got a beautiful clue step for you guys today. This is step number five of the elite clue, and we have to be at the astral altar, which requires the lunar diplomacy quest. Guys, if you don't know what the lunar diplomacy quest's reward is, it is five thousand room crafting xp which will get me to around 22 room crafting which is insane which is another 12 total levels or something it's a random guess it might be higher might be lower but i'm so hyped that i can do this quest so without further ado and here we are in the middle of the quest might as well complete this elite clue hopefully this is the last step if it's not please give me the casket uh oh one more step kill a water fiend again okay okay this is the last step for sure isn't it yeah, it is. Okay, so this one can rest in the bank until we finish Lunar Diplomacy. Phew, that quest actually took a little while, but we are finally done with Lunar Diplomacy. And the one thing I'm so excited about is that runecrafting level. We went from 10 to 22. My guess was on the dot. I'm so glad about that. 22 runecrafting, we're 1570 total now. Now let's complete this elite clue. So if my calculations are correct, this guy drops a casket right now. Oh my, here we go. Let's open it in Edgeville. It's not the place we got most lucky last time, but here we go. Elite casket number six. Hopefully something decent. Another rune crossbow. That's a big casket, but it's not great. It is not great. Not too hyped about that one, but I'm going to quickly check if I can actually put this whole lunar set into my POH. Oh yes, that's great. Whew, that is some bank spaces fixed. All right, my first chest back to Barrows. Can we get an elite clue first try? Boom! No, but it's not a bad chest though. <gasps> nee, fuck! Dupe Carol oh. Scoif. Oh. Hey, Trails, what's up? Oh my god! Varak helmet. Oh no! The <laughs> 
Uh, that was not... That was a burp, okay? I apologize, that was not nice of me, but we got an elite clue, and I think we're back on drop right now. Not bad. Carol's Coif dupe, Varex helmet, and then straight into the elite clue. Whoa! What? Kill the King Black Dragon for a key, and then open the closed chest in the northeast corner of the lair. I didn't even know that was a thing! Yo, um, alright, uh, let's get geared, I guess? I don't like this place, I don't like this place, I don't like this place. What's up, Mr. 165432 That's not a bot name at all. Alright, I'm gonna try and step under the King Black Dragon every single time, hoping that that's the best tactic for me to go. Protect Mage, I don't know how much that does, but we'll try. First hit, gotta tank it for sure. There it is. Okay, get under him. Spec him out, get under him. Spec him out, get under him. Spec him out. Hey, so far so good, to be honest. Boom. Oh, crap. This is gonna... Oof, this is actually going decent so far. He's tanky as shit, dude. He's beefed up. Come on, dude. I'm potted up on everything, I hope. I am. I'm frozen. What? What is this guy weak to? Cat? No, don't tell me I have to bank. He's so low. Okay. Let's try this again. Alright, second attempt, the thing is weak to stab, so we're bringing the leaf-bladed sword. I don't know if that's a good idea, probably not, to be honest, but, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. Here we go. I should've potted up first before I went in, but, you know what? Maybe he's still damaged from last trip. Who knows? And he is not. Okay, okay, great. Get pot up all the way. Oh, fucking hell. 21, I'm wearing rune, dude! I have a feeling the leaf-bladed sword is not gonna cut it. I have yet to hit with this leaf-bladed sword. You're supposed to be weak to stab, dude. Alright, I was gonna leave if that didn't hit, but I just hit a 26. Genie, you are... Why do you always come on the wrong spots? Hey, Kilsey, thank you so incredibly much, dude, in the chat. But, uh, I can't reply right now. This is not gonna be it, boys. But the next one, third time's a charm, right? Come on, give me the big RNG now. Hit. One more hit in the mile, boys. Ugh. I have returned with my favorite weapon in the entire game so far that I have in my possession. And I don't know if, this, if it's the greatest idea, but I'm here with a Leaf Bladed Battle Axe right now. Maybe we can be lucky today. The Leaf Bladed Battle Axe has never let me down. Just need a couple big specs at the start and we're good to go. Alright, Battle Axe time, come on. Oh, look at that. 32, there we go. That's why I brought this thing. It's got a way higher max hit than my Simi, so... I think about the same hit rate. Look at that. This thing's a beast. Alright, he's halfway and I'm through five food. Oh my god. This might be the one. Keep at it, Trails. You got it. Poof. 24. Piss off. Big hit. 36. Holy shit. This is the moment. Five is not enough. Don't screw me over. Yes, come on. And one more. One more big one. Let's end it with a spec. Here we go. That's not enough. Barely. Barely. One more. One more small hit. Come on. Give it to me! Yes! That's it! We got it! Oh, I'm so glad. I'm so Oh my god, I, that actually scared the shit out of me. I thought I was gonna get dropped an elite clue. My god. That actually scared me. Oh! Pfft. No, don't screw me over like that. What chest is it that I need? What chest is it? Is it this one? Which one is it? Get away from me, dude! Which one is it? You know what? I'm gonna chill it for a second. I'm gonna think about wh what chest it is, and I'm gonna come back and open it. Oh, wait. I actually got it. Okay, I clicked the right chest. That's good. <laughs> Legend Guild is the next clue. This is step number four. So this might be the chest already. Bando's guy, please. There we go. That's good. How about you give me some Bando's boots, dude? What do you think? Is that a one out of a million drop rate? Yeah, right? Yeah, so there's actually a one out of one million drop rate on Bando's boots on these guys. Come on, Kosket. Not yet. Never heard of that, but hopefully that does not require any quests. I don't think so, though. Hit me up with that, Kosket boys. Boom. <gasps> Here we go. Elite clue number seven. Lucky number seven. Let's open it straight away. Boom! You know, I'll take the summer pies, but this is pretty trash. Let's get another one. 
And so we're back onto Barrows. Thank you all for the incredible support lately. Hopefully at least a couple of you guys are gonna try and join the competition. I'm really excited to see all the clues you guys are gonna get this week. And I'm really excited to give away a couple bonds to you guys. If you haven't already subscribed, make sure to do so. I'm uploading every single Wednesday, so it's kind of worth it. Without further ado, happy clue hunting. Make sure to like the video if you actually liked it. <laughs> and I'll see y'all next Wednesday. Peace.